after the 100th attempt. I'm sure you've heard people say when describing their efforts to achieve some goal, I've tried 5, 10, 20, 25 times and it still doesn't work. As a student of many successful people, there's a pattern that is universal. If you go back thousands of years to today, every single person who has ever achieved anything great understood the concept of the law of large numbers. They understood that in order to be extraordinary, they had to endure what most people refuse to endure to reach a certain level of success. Let me repeat that. They understood that in order to do the extraordinary, they had to endure what most people refuse to endure to reach a certain level of success. In Robert Greene's book, The Laws of Human Nature, he writes, to this day, we humans remain highly susceptible to the moods and emotions of those around us, compelling all kinds of behavior on our part, unconsciously imitating others, wanting what they have and getting swept up in the, in the feelings of anger and outrage. Now the people who've achieved the extraordinary understand the critical level of importance that they must allow or disallow certain people into their inner circle. If they allow the people that have made consistent choices to be average and ordinary and whisper in the ear of the person who is striving to be extraordinary that it's time to quit, success will never be achieved. Here is what 98% of the public does not see in the lives of most successful people. The most successful people understand that it takes dozens and dozens and hundreds of attempts, many times much more than that, to reach some level of success. Again, in Robert Greene's book, The 48 Laws of Power, he writes, quote, when you see several steps ahead, and plan your moves all the way to the end, and you will no longer be tempted by emotion or by the desire to improvise. You see the ending and you tolerate no deviation." Unquote. It seems that most successful people around the world are not always the smartest people. Many times they are the ones who have the most determination to reach a specific goal whereas most of their peers gave up long ago. They simply outwork the majority of people around them. Let me repeat that. They simply outwork the majority of people around them. The late Jim Rohn used to say, make up in numbers what you lack in skill. Again, make up in numbers what you lack in skill. This is why you cannot afford to have people in your life that are unethical, lazy, and negative. At the same time, it's essential that you feed your mind via books written by successful people every day to keep you on track. This is how most successful people do it. They have what I'll call negative demons in their own mind that they struggle to suppress. They know they don't have to have all the answers, so they feed their minds to stay focused and inspired and motivated. American inventor Thomas Edison is said to have said, quote, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Again, quote, most of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up, unquote. So if you really, really want to be successful in life, you must be the hardest working person that you know and understand that any level of success may take more than 100 attempts. The question for you is, are you going to quit and attempt maybe 10 or 20 or 50 or 100 times, or will you continue to push and climb and fall down again and again and bleed until you reach all your goals in life? I believe in you. My name is John Carver. Thanks for listening.